This is our 8.4 math intervention video, which is I can find a pattern and write an equation for a geometric sequence. So we're going to look at our first sequence right here. So um, this is a geometric sequence because there is a pattern here. And the pattern is not adding or subtracting the same number. Uh, the pattern is that we are multiplying the same number. So I'm going to ask you to do about four things with each of the problems that you're going to look at today. Uh, number one is we're going, to, we're going to actually search for something called that common ratio. Okay, And what that means is that we're just searching for the number that we multiply to get to the next number every time. So in this case, we're multiplying by 2. Every single time you can see that we're doubling this particular example. So the common ratio for this one would be two. That's it. Um, and that is, you know, the um, something important that you need to figure out. One nice way to figure it out really easily is to take the number, like you could do 24 divided by 12. That would give you the common ratio. Or 12 divided by 6 would give you 2. 6 divided by 3. You can always take the, the number further to the right, divide by the previous one, and you can get that common ratio. Uh, the next thing, after you determine the common ratio, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to come up with like the next three terms. All right, so we could just say next three terms. And all you would need to do is you would need to take your, uh, your 24 and you would need to double that. So that would go to 48. That'd be the next one. And then we would need to double that. And we'd end up with 96 for that. Let's make my six look a little bit better there. And then we would need to double that number and we'd end up at 192. All right. So we would easily be able to come up with our next numbers if we know the common ratio. Step three is I'm going to ask you to write an equation for this. Okay. So we'll talk about what the equation looks like now. Uh, it's going to be in the form y equals a times b to the x power. All right. Let's talk about what each of these things mean. So let's start first with our a. All we know, all we need to know is that this is the first term that you see. All right. So that's the first number you see. In this particular sequence, that's going to be three. Uh, the next one we're going to look at here is the B. And in this case, the B is going to be our common ratio. I'll just put CR for that. All right. And the X, this is going to be how many times we multiply to get the common ratio. So how many times we mul multiply. Wow, I'm struggling there. How many times we multiply to get the, how many times we multiply the common ratio? All right. So we'll talk about what we need to do there. All right. So here's our particular equation for this one. Y is equal to our first number is three. Our common ratio is two. And we are going to put it to the X power. All right. So that's the equation. So let's go ahead and use that equation now. So the fourth step would be maybe I would ask you to find the, we'll just do the 10th number in the sequence. So what is the 10th term? And we can easily use our equation right here. Now, here's the deal. When, if you just plugged a 10 in, you would actually be finding the, um, the 11th term. So you can't just plug a 10 in. We actually need to plug a 9 in. And some of you may be like, what's going on there? It's how many times we multiply to get the common ratio. So let's go back and look at the, the real problem here. So if we look at this, our first number was 3, our second number was 6, our third number was 12, and our fourth number was 24. Well, to get to the fourth number, how many times did we multiply by negative 2? Or excuse me, how many times did we multiply by positive 2? We multiplied by it 3 times. You can see we have 3 2s there. So to get to the fourth number, we have to multiply by 2 three times. Well, what if we had to get to the fifth number? We all, we, we know the fifth number already. So we could just say the fifth number was equal to 48. All right. And if we wanted to continue this pattern right here, it'd be times another two. Well, to do the fifth number, how many twos do we multiply by? We multiply by four twos. And that's what I was trying to say right here is how many times we multiply the common ratio. All right. So for this example, what you need to do is you need to take the term minus one. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take y to find the, the, the tenth term. We're going to take times two to the ninth power right there. And that's what we need to type into our calculator. So I'm going to do it in my calculator real quick here. I'm going to do two to the ninth power and I get 512 for that. And then I'm going to multiply that number by three and I get my number of 1,536. So we would say the tenth number in the sequence 
is 1,536. Again, the most common mistake people make is they'll put a 10 in there for x. So we just know we have to take one away. It's how many times we're multiplying by our common ratio. Hopefully that makes sense. <coughs> you're going to do a couple, couple problems for me. Only three. So um, you're going to find the common ratio for each of these sequences here. They're all geometric sequences. You're going to find the next three terms of the sequence. You're going to come up with the equation, and you're going to use your equation to find the 10th term. Think about it. What number do you think you're going to put in for x? Hopefully you have an idea. Good luck. Thanks for watching and talk with your teacher when you're done.